Now that we've established that we can control the infrastructure and provide the traditional operational interfaces, let's talk for a minute about how we get from here to there. Because nobody has the luxury of forklifting their entire plant. Much as you'd like to, you just, your boss won't let you do it. Now, there are times that you can build a new facility. Maybe you're building a new truck, maybe you're building a new building and moving into it. But even then, you'll find if you shop today right now that not every device that you want to buy natively speaks IP. So there is a need to do some translation from IP to SDI and SDI to IP in order to interoperate a plant over the next many years. We fundamentally support three different architectures for getting from here to there an IP-based infrastructure. So the first one is you have your traditional SDI router and you drop some cards in it that translate to IP or from IP. And this architecture works great at the beginning. It's an easy on-ramp. You can build out SDI today. You're future-proof to add in IP over the, over the future. But it does have a challenging end game because as you add more and more translators into your SDI router frame, you get to the point where you wish you had instead just bought IP switches in the first place. Now, the second way you can go about it is to go right to the end game, to buy IP switches, hook everything to the IP switches, and put translators out next to the equipment that still speaks SDI. If you have a lot of equipment in your plant that natively speaks IP, this is a great option. It also is nice because you have the distributed architecture of putting the conversion out near the edge and running a much smaller amount of fiber back to where the switches are compared to a traditional SDI build. This saves weight, saves power, saves cable trays, and it's a great way to overbuild inside an existing plant. We have several customers who've taken advantage of that. And if you look at the total cost of construction and total cost of ownership, it is economically favorable to do this in some cases. Now the third approach is what we call the true hybrid. In the true hybrid approach, you have an SDI router frame, and you use SDI to do what SDI is good at, connected to equipment that speaks SDI. In the same sense, you buy IP switches and you hook the native IP equipment to the native IP switches. That's your end game. And then you build an appropriate amount of translation between the two domains. This actually mirrors the way that we as an industry transitioned from SD to HD years ago. We had SDI router domains, we had HD router domains, and a small amount of up and down conversion between them. This is a standard path that we as an industry have tread before. And so now we're going to do it again, moving from SDI to IP. But we can do it flexibly and at a pace that matches the availability of equipment, the availability of funds, and the ability of the staff to understand and train up on the new technology. And imagine we aren't about telling you one way to do it. We have a toolkit that can work with your facility and your budget and your plan the way you need to go. So thanks and have a great day.